Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Here the purpose is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. I hope you enjoy these videos. I have created a group of videos to respond to some of the great questions you have submitted. Now, I actually do read your comments on the videos. So I want to say thank you for that and let you know that I am paying attention and some of you have such good questions. So I wanted to, to say thank you for watching. Thank you for, for caring enough to, to add value to the comments and the discussions. And so this week is all about you and I hope you enjoy the topics that show up based on your comments, your questions. All right, so today I have a couple in this video. And it's kind of funny because I almost feel like I'm like, should I just channel, should I have a, like a panel come in to respond to these questions? Because some of them are actually really good ones to ask spirit that I never actually have asked before. So um, maybe we'll have to see what happens, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm open, all right, I'm just open. All, if that's what needs to happen, that's what needs to happen, that's fine. I will let you know that um, one of my lead spirit guides when I do um, celebrity channeling is Prince in the afterlife, probably because I'm a Minnesotan, I don't know. Um, so he's here, his energy's already here, so you might feel that if you pick up on that. Hey, that's just, and you might pick up on that from time to time as well. I also have Freddie Mercury who's been hanging out with me for a while. Since I did a channel with him, yes, I need to do more of them. I'm going to do another one. And at the time that I share this video, I may have already shared that. I don't know, timing wise. But uh, so you might feel that if you're intuitive, if you're really in tune with energy, you might be feeling those energies already. And I just want to acknowledge that because I know many of you are very intuitive, very aware of energy and are also very psychic psychic in fact i have some mediums and psychics who are watching and if you are shout out to you yo hey thanks for doing the work i totally appreciate it i support you i encourage you to do this soulful work i know it's not easy and thank you thank you for having the courage to do it all right yeah yeah i know one of the comments usually is about me talking a lot about myself well guess what it's my channel <laughs> Love Life channel, it's Bridget. <laughs> so there you go. You don't have to watch if you don't want to, it's fine. Um, but this, I am gonna chat, chit chat with you. So this is my actual casual conversation style. So you're, this, that's what you're getting here. All right, so um, one of the questions that I saw that I thought was great was, what do spirits do in the afterlife? Like, like what do they do? And um, w another question related to this, multiple people have asked this in different forms, okay? Different forms, same kind of question. Um, someone specifically asks, can they go anywhere they want? All right, so I know, I know as Bridget the Psychic Medium, I've been doing this for a long time, I, from the experiences that I've had in connecting and communicating with spirit, I know the, an I know the answers to these. Um, so I'm just gonna respond. Yes, they can go pretty much anywhere they want. You have to remember there's no body, so there's no, constriction, there's no um, mass, body mass or anything to, to have to maneuver or manipulate. And so they don't have the same kind of restrictions that we have. And um, there's no like Spirit Airlines. Well, actually, I think there is a company called, <laughs> hey, Spirit Airlines, if you want if you want to sponsor me, go ahead. Um, but there's no... Um, there's no barriers or boundaries for them as far as their presence, but they're not physical in human body present or they're not traveling. Like if they wanna to go to Paris, for example, for the weekend, it's not like they just kind of pop over there and hang out there and go there. It's not like they don't have the same kind of needs and perspectives that we have from our human context of life. So when spirit in the afterlife, yes, they can go anywhere they want, but that doesn't mean their, you know, grandpa's gonna be standing in the corner of the living room or something like that. Um, it means that their energy, their essence, you might be able to feel or pick up on. So that means that somebody who's famous might be, you might be able to feel their energy around their house. Now that doesn't mean that they're only at that house and they're not any place else. They're not in heaven or whatever you consider heaven to be. They're not spirit or in the afterlife just because you can feel them doesn't mean they're not spirit, they're totally spirit. Um, but 
you might feel their energy because they are present there. They're, they're either there at the space or they're there because you're there. Like if you're visiting Graceland and you want to feel Elvis, he may pop in because he may want you connecting through your energy, his ener you connecting to his energy, you kind of call him and say, hey, I'd like to feel you here. And it gets a little bit tricky, you guys, because there's energy imprint. So like our energy leaves a print like our fingerprint do does on our finger. We have energy imprints. And so the question could be, well, if it's Graceland, for example, is it that Elvis, is it just because Elvis used to be there that he's, you know, touched the furniture, that he's played music there, that he's walked the grounds? Is it just a kind of a memory of his energy there, essence? And in some cases, yes, there's an imprint of his energy there. But I know, especially in talking with Mr. Elvis Presley, he's so sweet, you guys, such a sweet man. Um, super charming too, just easy to talk to, very polite. He, I know from talking to him that he likes to be there, like he likes to pop in, so to speak, but it's not like, it's not like an episode of I Dream of Jeannie. Do you guys remember that where she like would move her head? I'm going to date myself. Um, I was young when that show was on, just so you know. But she would like pop her head or blink her eyes or something and boom, she'd pop someplace else. It's not like that. Remember, they're not tangible. They don't have a body. They don't have mass. They're just kind of like, they're kind of like light, like beams of light, reflections of light energy. So, but does that mean they can't actually take a form of a person or, or look like, um, one of the most common ways you guys, uh, I'm skipping around here, but I'm kind of excited about this, is, and I know so much about it, I guess, maybe, but is a common way to see spirit or to feel energy of spirit is to see orbs, is through orbs, like circles of light. And sometimes, yeah, it's just dust on your camera, but a lot of times it's not. You know, it's energy. You're getting, uh, a, it's kind of like those orb of light. It's kind of like a, the negative shadow of a spirit kind of a thing. It's like a sh what a shadow would be, but instead it's a bright light or, an, or a circle of light. And that's because it's less intimidating. You don't want necessarily to see the form of a person standing there. That might freak you out because you might feel fear because when you see a person you don't know, instantly your body is like, I don't know who that person is, should I be afraid kind of a thing. And so a lot of times just light or balls of light or even beams or rays of light is totally totally a connection to spirit and you can talk it away or rationalize it however you want or scientifically prove that because of the fract fractals of the light and the way it's glistening off the edges of the window cut just so it is creating this effect and you can do that and scientifically explain everything away if you choose to however there's this beautiful magical mystical energy that spirit works in it's much more creative artistic and not scientific so spirit can be wherever they want to be, but they're not all out there spying on you or trying to be mischievous or creating havoc or anything like that. But the good news also, the fact that spirit can just be anywhere, is that you can, that means, you guys, every one of you, that means if you are talking to some famous person that you really are feel a connection to, it doesn't matter who it is, it could be a famous actress, an uh, incredibly well-known movie star, a composer, a dancer, a musician, a rock star, or a famous leader. It doesn't matter who it is or who it was, who they were. You can connect with their spirit easily, like you can connect. So you might think you're making it up, but you're not. The only reason that you would be stopped from actually making connection is the disbelief that you can't do it. You've got to believe that you can, and therefore you can. It's like, if you believe something isn't possible, it's not possible. There's not a whole lot that I can do, I think, to persuade you to believe in yourself, in God, creator, a source, a universe, an energy. And my job here at Above Life Channel or any part of my work is never to prove anything to anybody. This is not about evidence. This is not about, I'll see it when I believe it. This is about having the 
incredible connection to your spirit and understanding that there is a power that is so incredible and amazing inside of you that is spirit and that has access to mysterious things that we with our human little baby tiny brains do cannot ever understand in our in this existence and so we attempt our feeble attempts to understand like even this it's an attempt for me to explain it to you but even i don't know like i don't have not one person has access to all this wisdom and information it's a process and it's about connection and tapping in tapping in and giving yourself that doorway of opportunity and in order to to do that you got to believe that it's even possible because if you don't think it's possible then quite frankly it's not for you and it's not my job or any it's nobody else's job to give you enough evidence to believe you that's a choice beliefs beliefs are a choice have you ever tried to argue uh, politics with someone who's on the total opposite end of the spectrum as you how successful are you in changing their beliefs or getting them to believe something you're not successful because beliefs are a personal thing it's intimate and that energy connected to your spirit energy that can just create so much possibility for you so there's my little pep talk. So, I mean, I, you know, you can tell that I'm passionate about this, right? And so spirit, yes, you can connect with spirit. Spirit can be anywhere at any time. There's no limit to spirit. Spirit is not tangible mass. Therefore, it can't be like a pizza cut up into pieces and given to different people. It is a, a limitless source or resource like the sun, which can be over many places at one time, many casting light over many different areas geographic places i mean it's not just a one one source all right okay so there's another there was another question about spirit which i thought was great which was i'm trying to let me try to remember let me look at my notes because i'm only trying to get it exactly here yeah what do they do like what do they do in the afterlife like what are they doing just hanging out no it's hard to explain because it's not like there's a schedule there's not this tangible need for structure that comes from the mind. The mind creates order out of chaos. And in spirit, everything is limitless. There's no edges. There's no boundaries. It's hard to describe this, but I bet if you've done a deep meditation, like a transcendental meditation, perhaps, where you do a mantra and you, you go into sacred space and you just really spend time there and you consistently do that kind of a routine, you've probably experienced this. Now the point of being a person isn't, the, the point of being a spirit in a body, okay, being a spirit in a body isn't to get out of your body. However, it seems like everybody that's fascinated with spirit and how spirit works, spirit life, what that's like, wants to go into altered states of consciousness or awareness. People talk about like astral travel or astral projection or doing great meditations where they just leave their body. And I'm like, okay, you guys, you're missing the point here. Spirit is, it, it is truly free, but freedom is not a place. It is not an achievement. It is a state of energy flow, which you can achieve in your body as a spirit. Hard to believe, not easy to do, because why? Because your mind and your belief system limits you. So sometimes through a meditation experience like a deeper meditation a transcendental meditation or maybe a, a really deep long kind of guided meditation you can like feel like you're escaped from your body or you're out of your body and when you have those kinds of experiences i know it's hard to think because you only have like a limited kind of seemingly limited time to have these experiences not in the body I'm sure it probably feels like it's this great thing to be a free spirit without a body. But the truth is, it's just a state of energy. It's a state of energy. It's not something that you need to aspire to. You are here in a body for a reason, so focus on that, all right? Be the spirit in the body. You do meditations and allow yourself to expand your awareness and recognition while you're in your body and have those experiences integrated into your human life form. It doesn't do you any good if you leave, go on vacation, have a great time on vacation, come back home to the same stressful job. It makes you feel worse. So when you're doing meditations to leave your body, to have experiences that you maybe think spirits are having because they're having this great old time because they're free spirits, that's, not, that's just simply not the case. 
All right. So spirit in the afterlife, to answer your question, which is a great one, thank you. Sometimes spirits do have jobs. I've been asked that before. Sometimes they do take on a role as a spirit guide. And so they will come back, come back, meaning just look out for you, take care of you, ask, you know, be there to guide you if you ask questions, when you, when you say prayers, when you do meditation, they are sort of like an advocate for you. All right. And so spirit can do that. Sometimes spirit can do that. But from my experience, like when I've connected with my dad, for example, over the last however many years, how long has he been? Gosh, well, I've been a psychic for 14 years, so I've been able to connect with him during the, the, for that time. He's been in the afterlife as a spirit for about 16, I think, at the time of this video. And so when I've connected with him, he seemed very, he seemed very different at times. Sometimes he looks like he's like in Hawaii having a vacation. Other times when I've connected with him, he seems like he's in education, like he's taking college classes like a college student. And I love that because I know my dad loved to learn, just like me, I like to learn too. And sometimes um, I've had, now recently in the last, I'd say six to eight years or so, I know that he's reincarnated. And that's a whole question for a whole video. I should talk about that. But I know that he's reincarnated, so you're probably gonna ask, well, how do you know that? How do you know that? Well, I know that because I saw that. Like I, I connected with him and I saw him as I knew him and then I saw him as this little baby that he was. And beautiful, totally different culture, completely different part of the world and so like physically looks totally different, you know. And now he's probably what, like five, six, seven. I just heard seven, I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I know, but that doesn't mean that he can't connect with me as my dad because there's an aspect of his soul that's connected to that as well. The soul is beautiful, it's like a mosaic. Okay, it's like a mosaic art. It's not pieces that have to fit into, it's not um, like a puzzle necessarily, it's a beautiful artistic reflection of, of our wholeness. And all the experiences that we've had in all of our lifetimes create the mosaic that is who we are as a whole. And so he can still talk to me even though I can still connect with him if I choose to. I really don't chat with my dad an awful lot. I just, I feel him and I know he loves me and I know he's with me and I know, um, but every once in a while in poignant moments he will pop in or I will hear a message from him that that's either he is sending directly to me or someone on his behalf, like Archangel Michael is one of my lead um, guides and he'll share messages with me from him and it'll be things like that you need you know things that a daughter needs to hear from her dad you know and times that you are important lifetimes life moments like um, I'm really proud of you um, this is exactly um, this is exactly the kind of um, person I knew you are I know you are or or this is this is so incredible or like proud of you isn't really a spirit term pride isn't really a spirit thing but that's the translation so that my mind understands what it means but it's really like wow you're you're authentic your soul you're so aligned with your purpose and I, I'm so loving that for you and this is the best thing I could have ever wanted for my child and that kind of energy you know that's how it feels my grandpa does that too he'll pop in sometimes and be like especially with schooling stuff or education or new achievements that I might have reached in my work or that kind of a thing that I feel like I'm like wow I've really I've really accomplished something here. I feel really good about this, something awesome I've created, a class or, or, um, or maybe even a particularly um, intense session that I, that I maybe have completed with a family or that kind of a thing. And so um, I'll just feel this, wow, yeah, wonderful, that's great kind of energy. So, so, all right, so spirit stuff, what do they do? They do a lot of different things. They're not really doing anything, they're being. And being is a state of energy and it's a flow state. And it's much more comparable to light and the sun than it is to a, a person or a mass kind of of energy. I hope that helps. So thank you so much for your questions. They're really great. I'm sure this video, if I watch it back, it's gonna be all over the place. But you know what? There's so much information here to share and I'm happy to be able to do it. It's pretty great. 
Thank you so much for watching. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Remember the purpose is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope because this is your life. So live it, just live it. Thanks for being here.